Welcome back to Kids Worship. I'm Miss Courtney, and so we have been learning about the I Am statements of Jesus that are found in the book of John. Each time Jesus says, I am, he is saying that he is God. Each I Am statement also reveals to us a new part of Jesus' character. It tells us a little bit more about who Jesus is. So we're going to start by reading the story in John chapter 11. But before we delve into our scripture for this morning, let's sing our song from Seeds Family Worship. <music> to the word and so deceive yourself do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself hey do what it says do 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 just do it do what it says oh yeah oh yeah do what it says do 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 just do it do what it says do what it says So deceive yourself Do not merely listen to the word And so deceive yourself Hey, hey, do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Oh yeah, oh yeah Do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Do what it says Bibles at John chapter 11. Now a man was sick, Lazarus from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair, and it was her brother Lazarus who was sick. So the sisters sent a message to him, Lord, the one you love is sick. When Jesus heard it, he said, this sickness will not end in death, but it is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Your brother will rise again, Jesus told her. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Where have you put him? He asked. Lord, they told him, come and see. Jesus deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Remove the stone, Jesus said. He shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, band, bound hand and foot with linen strips, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unwrap him and let him go. So this story deals with a major theme that most people don't ever want to talk about, but is something that everyone faces in their life, death. Why do you think people don't like to talk about death because it's sad and some people don't know what happens after we die and then we miss the people we love when they die and in the time that this story took place the Jews had traditions 
on how to mourn when someone died. So you would spend a week doing nothing but being sad and mourning the person who died. Many, many people would come and mourn with you. So Jesus turns all this way of thinking on his head when he makes his I am statement in this passage. So who remembers from our scripture reading what this I am statement is? Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. So Jesus says that he is the resurrection and the life. This is a powerful statement. What does resurrection mean? So resurrection means to bring back to life after someone has died. You see, when Jesus claims to be the resurrection, he is saying he is the only one who can bring life. Jesus is saying that he is God. Jesus brings us to life when we are dead. This statement has two meanings. The first one is that Jesus is the one who gives us life after we die. He gives us life in heaven. So 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 40 42 through 44 says it this way. It is the same way with the resurrection of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to live forever. These verses are saying that our bodies that we have now are like seeds. When you plant a seed and bury it under the soil, it dies. But when it dies, a plant grows out of a tiny little seed becomes a big, beautiful tree. That is an image to help explain what will happen to us when we die. Dying does not mean the end of our lives. It means we get to become something bigger and greater in Jesus. So while it is okay, even right and healthy to be sad when someone dies, we can also be happy for them because if they loved and followed Jesus on this earth, they get to live forever with him in heaven. Then he came back to life. If we choose to love him and confess our sins to him, he comes giving us life forever too. Now, that is great news. All right, see you next week, everybody.